Sweden is entering a new era of military modernization, and the latest announcement of a large-scale procurement of Finnish-made Patria 6x6 armored personnel carriers underscores just how seriously Stockholm is approaching its defense overhaul. The 321 vehicles, designated in Swedish service as the Pansarterang Bill 300, will be acquired under a contract worth approximately 470 million euros, marking one of the most significant ground force investments Sweden has made in recent years. This purchase is part of the multinational Common Armored Vehicle System program, an ambitious cooperative effort led by Finland and joined by Sweden, Latvia, and Germany, with other European nations also taking part in related capacities. The logic behind the program is straightforward, but strategically powerful, by standardizing equipment across multiple NATO and partner states. Participating armies can improve interoperability, reduce maintenance and logistics costs, and strengthen collective readiness. For Sweden, this move also reflects a deeper integration into Nordic and NATO defense planning following its historic decision to join the alliance. The Patria 6x6 itself is a combat-proven platform designed for flexibility and survivability in high-intensity warfare. Capable of carrying up to 12 troops, it offers modular configurations for different mission profiles, including troop transport, command and control, and battlefield medical evacuation. The vehicle's armor can be upgraded to meet varying threat levels and its design emphasizes ease of maintenance in harsh environments, a critical consideration for operations in the subarctic conditions of Northern Europe. The integration of Swedish-made components, such as Scania engines, ensures compatibility with national industrial capabilities while maintaining commonality with the broader CAVES fleet. For Sweden's army, these vehicles will significantly boost mobility and force protection. Modern armored transport is more than just a means of moving soldiers from point A to point B. It is a survivability multiplier in an era when artillery, drones, and precision-guided munitions dominate the battlefield. The Panzer Terrengbil 300s will work alongside Sweden's existing CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles, creating a versatile ground maneuver capability that can operate independently or as part of a larger NATO force. The combined effect will be a more agile and resilient army, able to respond to both regional crises and larger coalition-level operations. While the army's modernization garners attention, Sweden's Air Force is also undergoing a significant transformation. The Saab Gripen E fighter is now entering operational service, with deliveries continuing at a steady pace. This latest generation variant builds on the proven capabilities of the Gripen platform, but incorporates cutting-edge avionics, an expanded weapon suite, and improved range and endurance. Optimized for both national defense and multinational operations, the Gripen E is designed to operate effectively in the contested air environments that define modern warfare. In strategic terms, the Gripen E gives Sweden a robust air policing and defensive counter-air capability, essential for safeguarding its own airspace and supporting NATO's collective security missions. The aircraft's multi-role nature also enables precision strike operations in support of ground forces, providing a critical link between Sweden's modernized army and its strategic deterrent posture. Saab's ongoing export efforts further strengthen Sweden's defense industrial base, ensuring sustained innovation and production capacity that can support both domestic and allied requirements. At sea, Sweden is pursuing an equally ambitious upgrade with the introduction of the A-26 Blekinge-class submarine. Built by Saab Kakums, the A-26 is widely regarded as one of the most advanced non-nuclear submarines in the world. It features air-independent propulsion for extended submerged endurance, low acoustic signatures for enhanced stealth, and the ability to launch cruise missiles from vertical launch systems, an unusual capability for a conventional submarine. The strategic value of the A-26 lies in its ability to operate in the confined and shallow waters of the Baltic Sea while remaining undetected. 
in a region where maritime choke points and contested littoral zones could quickly become flashpoints, such a capability is invaluable. The A-26 will enable Sweden to deny adversaries freedom of movement, protect its vital sea lines of communication, and conduct covert intelligence gathering missions deep in potential adversary waters. When paired with the nation's surface fleet and maritime patrol assets, it creates a layered maritime defense system that strengthens Sweden's overall deterrence. Taken together, these modernization efforts represent a comprehensive strengthening of Sweden's defense posture across all domains, land, air, and sea. On land, the Patria 6x6 acquisition enhances troop mobility, survivability, and NATO interoperability. In the air, the Gripen E secures Sweden's skies while providing precision strike capabilities to support joint operations. At sea, the A-26 submarine expands Sweden's ability to project power and conduct strategic denial in the Baltic region. This transformation is not occurring in a vacuum. Russia's war in Ukraine has reshaped the European security landscape, accelerating rearmament and cooperation among NATO members and partners. For Sweden, the war has underscored the importance of rapid, decisive action in upgrading its military capabilities. The country's long-standing policy of neutrality has given way to a security doctrine built around collective defense and deterrence. Investments like the Patria 6x6 are not merely equipment purchases. They are strategic decisions to ensure Sweden is a credible and capable contributor to regional stability. Furthermore, Sweden's approach demonstrates the value of aligning defense procurement with broader strategic and industrial policies. By participating in multinational programs like CVs, Sweden gains access to shared development, training, and logistic systems, while simultaneously strengthening its domestic defense industry through localized production and integration. This dual benefit ensures both operational readiness and economic resilience. As these systems come online over the next several years, Sweden's armed forces will be better positioned to handle a spectrum of threats from conventional invasion scenarios to hybrid and gray zone challenges. The synergy between advanced platforms like the Gripen E, the A-26 submarine, and the Patria 6x6 fleet will allow Sweden to field a balanced force capable of both defending its homeland and contributing meaningfully to NATO's collective deterrence posture. In the process, Sweden is not just modernizing its military, it is reshaping its strategic identity for a new security era. For observers of European defense, Sweden's current trajectory offers an instructive case study in how a small to medium power can leverage targeted, high-impact investments to achieve strategic depth. The emphasis on interoperability, survivability, and mobility reflects a clear-eyed assessment of modern conflict's demands. More importantly, it signals Sweden's determination to ensure that, in an increasingly unpredictable security environment, it will not be caught unprepared. If you want to stay informed about Sweden's evolving defense capabilities, the latest procurement developments, and in-depth analyses of military technology, make sure to support this channel. Subscribe, turn on notifications, and follow us for timely updates on the Swedish Armed Forces and the shifting balance of power in Northern Europe. Your engagement helps us bring you the most accurate and insightful military news as it happens.